I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. I call this exercise Siamese Force because we're going to pre-select categories from the card and force hands in just these categories. If you want to push yourself to play hands outside your comfort zone, give this exercise a try. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Oh, we have six already. We're done. These are the categories we're going to force. We're going to alternate between player one and player two. So we'll get 28 tiles, then 27, then 28. Wow. We have a flower, pair of north and a south, red and white dragon. In cracks, we have one, three, four, seven, eight, pair of eights. In dots, we have three, six, eight, singles. In bams, one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, pair five, pair eight, pong nine. If these were your tiles, which two categories would you force with these tiles? And what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would play five through nine, the very first hand in one suit for consecutive run. Then I would focus on probably little odds, even though we have a gap because we could maybe switch to like numbers. And that is a category on the card. We could do like numbers with threes or ones. We have 10 discards. That's a lot of discards. So we have five through nine pair, pong, kong, pong, pair. Maybe what we could do instead is play little odds up here with the five. Odds is not up there. So no, I wouldn't do that. I would go for a prize. So we're going to force in here. So let's see. What about a pair hand? Four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I was hoping to use the pung. Maybe singles and pair hand here. And then... like numbers with ones or threes and maybe we could use the news we're lacking flowers though unless we use that up there and play five through nine consecutive run either way we didn't use those tiles there so i think what i would do hold this for joker bait discard those Focus on like numbers with ones or threes, and then maybe play either consecutive run five through nine or the singles and pairs four through nine. One, two, three, four, five, six numbers in a range. 
So let's call this like numbers and singles and pairs. This joker bait would go with this hand up here because you can't use jokers with a pair hand. So we have singles and pairs and like numbers. This looks really good. This is going to take work. Two jokers, flower, dragon, green dragon, east and south, pair souths. We have two, four, six, seven, nine in cracks with a pung of twos. In bams, we have three, four, seven, eight, nine, pair sevens. In dots, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, pair of threes. We need to force a year hand, consecutive run, Winds and Dragons or 369. Two hands. What would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would play a year hand with all the twos and then 369. eight discards, and joker bait. Now we probably won't keep all these tiles, but this would give us time to build a year hand and 369. We have a good representation here, every number represented, and we have a lot of twos and jokers. We might even be able to play a quint, but that's not up on the board. So I would focus on a year hand in here. We would keep the one, 2021. That's what I would do here. 369, year hand. We need to force consecutive run and winds and dragons. We have a little of both. We have a joker flower, white dragon, green dragon, almost news, east, west, south. Here we have two, three, five, six, seven, eight, pair of sixes in cracks. In bams, we have a pung of ones, two, three, four, seven, nine, pairs of threes and sevens. And then in dots, we have one, five, nine, pair of ones. If I were to force hands in these categories, I would probably keep the twos with the wins and at least one of the ones. Let's see. There is a year hand in the wind and dragon category. Second one from the bottom, east and west or north and south. So maybe east and west with the year here. It even uses a flower. East and west with the year. I would keep all year tiles though, just to see what comes in. And I would keep the dragon too, because Maybe we could do winds and dragons. 
And then for consecutive run, I would probably build around five through eight. Use this as joker bait. Maybe keep one, one here to see what comes in with year tiles. Joker bait, joker bait, discards. So six discards, two joker bait there, and five through eight. We have six, seven. I don't think we're gonna be able to span up to nine. We do have a five here too though. Maybe keep five through nine for a little while and see what comes in. So I would do Winds and Dragons with maybe the year and then keep five through nine, focusing on six, seven, discard these first, hold this for a while and see what happens. Winds and Dragons, consecutive run. When you play two hands at one time, you have a lot of tiles to work with. You can make just about anything happen. If you force a hand from the onset, you have a pretty good chance of making it work. Sometimes it can look a little messy, but be patient. Many times it comes through. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.